quit. Okay, uh, good morning. <laughs> good morning everyone. Okay. <clears throat> Kita revise balik yang 2.1. Kerja yang saya bagi dekat uh, GC. Malam minggu ni juga lah hari Isnin. <clears throat> Okay, you should be able to relate depth with pressure, density and pressure, explain pressure okay, and describe application. So, uh, what is the relationship between depth of liquid and pressure? Okay, if the question asks you the relationship, okay, you must uh, use the word directly proportional. Directly proportional. Ni biasa soalan paper tu. Eh? Saya dah saya dah inform dah. Uh, soalan relationship ataupun relate. Uh, relate depth of liquid and pressure. Dia tak cakap direct relationship tapi dia cakap relate. Uh, relate. Uh, the question asks you relate between depth of liquid and pressure. So same. Uh, the same one. Relate. Same to relationship. Sama. So, you punya answer. <coughs> okay, sepatutnya tulis directly proportional ataupun inversely proportional. Not inversely proportional. Directly proportional or inversely proportional. Or you can use a symbol only. Symbol for directly proportional is this one, same lah huh? The symbol for directly proportional and inversely proportional is uh, like alpha. Huh? Like alpha. Okay, let's say, for example, um, time taken for a pendulum pop to swing is directly proportional to the length. Okay, let's say the time taken T directly proportional to Length of the uh, string, uh, length of thread. So you can use this symbol. <coughs> but the word is you must write. Uh, you must write down the word time taken of the pendulum bob to swing directly proportional to the length, uh, length of the string. Okay, but you have you can use the symbol in paper to uh, paper to uh, section B. <coughs> Section B, yeah. Okay, this is the word uh, directly proportional. Okay, in for inversely proportional, let's say <coughs> I current is inversely proportional to resistance. Uh, one over R. So if we have a division here, so it means that it is Use for inversely proportional. Okay, 1 over R. Now we know that the Ohm's law. Do you have electricity? Not yet. Huh? Okay, V equal to IR. So V, V is directly proportional to I. V also uh, directly proportional to R. But if you take I, uh, if you take I, you change the position of I. I will be uh, I inversely proportional to 1 over R. Okay. V over R. I equal to V over R. So I inversely proportional to resistance. Okay. So if you use symbol. <clears throat> okay. Now for number one, what is the relationship between depth of liquid and pressure? What happened to pressure if uh, the object immerses deeper and deeper? So the pressure will also increase. So majority of you uh, write if the depth increase, uh, pressure also increase. Uh, like that, uh, something like that. Uh, you, you you write down if depth increase, pressure also increase. Okay, this one for increase, 
uh, increase, increase, decrease, decrease, increase, this, uh, increase, decrease. We use it in uh, hypothesis. Uh, we use it in hypothesis and conclusion. Okay. Boleh, ha? So, for relationship, uh, we use directly proportional. So, if comes into your mind that depth increase, pressure increase, okay, so it is directly proportional. So, just state uh, depth is directly proportional to pressure. Okay. <clears throat> Same goes to number two. Relationship also. What is the relationship between density of liquid and pressure? So, if density increase, a bigger density, so pressure also bigger. Because uh, we know that P equal to rho G H. If density increase, pressure also increase. Uh, but your answer for this question must use directly proportional. Okay, H directly proportional to pressure. This one, density directly proportional to pressure. <coughs> okay. If the question asks you about the inference. Okay, inference. We have... We have aim, we have inference, we have hypothesis, we have a conclusion, and also relationship got five. Now five. Uh, five way to answer the question. Okay, aim. Aim we use in uh, experiment, lah, report. Okay, and then uh, inference. Inference. Third one is hypothesis. Okay, inference first and then hypothesis. Uh, number four, uh, relationship. Last one is conclusion. Okay, I got five. So, M, how to make a statement dia punya ayat. <clears throat> so, for M, to study, to investigate. Okay. To study between MV and RV. To investigate between MV and RV. So you need to identify uh, manipulated and responding. Then you can, uh, you will, you can write the aim. Okay. To study the relationship between blah blah blah. Huh? So same to investigate the relationship between. Yeah. Okay. And inference. Inference. Uh, we use the word depends. Ataupun effect. So, dekat tengah-tengah tu, in between uh, MV and RV, so let's say we use depend, should be RV first lah. RV depends on. RV respond to. Okay, RV depends on MV. That is for inference. So, uh, let's say for this one, uh, pressure Okay, pressure, we want to measure the pressure. Pressure depends on depth. Pressure depends on height. So, pre number two, pressure depends on density. That is inference. Okay, for hypothesis. Uh, hypothesis, then here you can use if or when or as. As the, as the depth increase, the pressure also increase. Oh, as the current increase, uh, resistance will decrease. Uh, okay, this one for hypothesis. If, as, when. Okay, how to make the uh, sentence. Okay, relationship. Okay, uh, what I mentioned just now. Directly, proportional or inversely, proportional. Okay, conclusion. Conclusion sama dengan hypothesis. Uh, same with hypothesis, just... Uh, rewrite the hypothesis that you have uh, state uh, before. Okay. Conclusion, hypothesis is accepted. Uh, then you write again the conclusion, uh, the hypothesis sama. Conclusion sama dengan hypothesis. Hmm. <coughs> Ini ni penting ah, Penting ni. Okay, number three. Diagram 3 shows a container of oil. Underline the correct answer. Point 
which point has the highest pressure highest pressure so to get highest pressure the high or depth must be high also a high or that must be higher also so which one is deeper uh, which one got highest highest point okay ada yang jawab x ada yang jawab y so yang mana satu yang betul ni okay y okay good y lah because we measure the depth from the surface of the water so we have y y deeper point now why is the deepest point yeah. <clears throat> and then x less deep or swallower swallower then y shallower then y swallower shallower then y uh, x so tengok uh, you measure from the surface of water uh, not from bottom not from bottom uh, from the surface of water that is depth okay number four this one i already know what is h what is rho what is g <clears throat> okay number five application of pressure therefore application in your textbook <clears throat> okay intravenous position of intravenous liquid position uh, position of uh, water tank a uh, dam construction of dam <coughs> siphon uh, okay number six what is the pressure at p take the correct answer um uh, mishraf jawab apa ni i jawab 1600 1600 the first one ah uh -uh. Okay, good. The answer is 1,600 and uh, not uh, 160,000. Bukan yang ini. Ramai buat yang ini. Okay. Because you all use 20 cm. You use 20 cm. You're supposed to convert. Uh, convert this cm first because here the density of alcohol we use meter. Uh, meter. Use SI unit. Okay. Unless you are given 800 kilogram cm negative 3, then you can use 20 cm. But here, the density of alcohol is 80 kilogram meter negative 3. So you must convert 20 cm into meter first. Uh, 20 cm equal to how many meter? <coughs> One meter hundred cm. Twenty cm equal to zero point two. Zero point two meter. Just apply in the uh, equation P equal to rho G H. Okay. Rho is eight hundred. G. Uh, G is a cup. Okay. Mungkin uh, ten lah dekat sini. Uh, sebab dia punya uh, answer point they round off okay so 10 newton and high is 0 0.2 meter so the answer is 1600 pascal okay <clears throat> make sure you tengok betul-betul uh, the value given in the question make sure you use the same unit uh, same unit same prefix uh, same prefix same unit Meter, meter. Okay. Lebih baik tukar kepada SI unit dulu. Tengok SI unit. <coughs> okay, yang ni, ha, ni kira careless. Careless lah ni, ha, tak tukar unit. So, salah lah. Okay, salah. <coughs> kalau jawab, uh, kalau soalan tu diberi satu markah, so kosong. Kalau dua markah, mungkin dia akan uh, bagi markah untuk pengiraan ataupun Formula. Ha, formula ataupun you punya walking step. Satu markah. And then answer, satu markah. So kalau uh, final answer salah, zero lah. <coughs> okay. Right, we go to uh, the next unit. 
2.2 aha um kalau mm. yang for gravitational acceleration tu mm -mm. uh we take 9.81 one kata 10 uh untuk yang you sekarang uh, 9.81 lah oh, okay uh. <coughs> Okay, now 2.2 atmospheric pressure. Okay, first, uh, macam biasa definition, what is atmospheric pressure? It's the pressure due to the weight of air uh, acting on the surface of earth. Okay, this one. What is atmospheric pressure? It's the pressure, uh, it's the pressure due to the weight of air, weight of air acting on the surface of earth that is atmospheric pressure pressure because of the weight of air or the force of air uh, so weight here refer to the force now uh, what you have learned before p equal to f over a if the question asks you what is a definition of pressure pressure only uh, if the question asks you what is pressure so pressure equal to force per unit area okay now what is the meaning of atmospheric pressure so for atmospheric pressure is the weight uh, the weight okay the weight exerted by the layer of air by air weight of the air that acting on the surface of earth acting on the on each object on earth <coughs> Okay, so all object on the surface of Earth, eh, on Earth, experience atmospheric pressure, atmospheric pressure. <clears throat> so let's say uh, we apply this atmospheric pressure in rubber sucker, eh, in rubber sucker. Okay. Uh, when you uh, drink water okay, by using a straw, that also apply atmospheric pressure. Okay, for this one, rubber sucker, the atmospheric pressure outside of rubber sucker is it on the mirror, on this mirror. <coughs> okay, higher atmospheric pressure. Let's say, um, ini yang pump tandas tu, uh, rubber sucker, no, we also call it rubber sucker, right? So, once... Uh, or we use it to remove the blockage in in pipe. Uh, remove the blockage in the pipe. So when we use this rubber sucker, we must to push it. Okay, we push it means we apply high atmospheric pressure. Okay, the atmospheric pressure outside this rubber sucker is larger than atmospheric pressure inside the pipe. Uh, that's why this rubber sucker stick to the glass. Uh, stick to this glass. Uh, because of higher atmospheric pressure exerted outside rather than inside. Okay. <clears throat> but this one, uh, activity 2.4, uh, we have two situations here. A diver in the sea experience water pressure okay oh yang ni dia nak buat comparison oh. water pressure and situation number two human beings living on land okay so this one uh, refer to atmospheric pressure okay <coughs> ni 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 should discuss ya <coughs> Discuss the similarities and differences between atmospheric pressure and water pressure. Okay, so uh, for this activity, water pressure is the pressure exerted by the water, by the liquid. Atmospheric pressure, pressure uh, due to work of the air. Okay, that's all. Okay, then the value of atmospheric pressure how we uh, measure the atmospheric pressure how we get the value for atmospheric pressure now 
the scientists use uh, an instrument that we call a mercury barometer. A mercury barometer. Okay, this mercury barometer consists of a one meter glass tube, a one meter long glass tube that containing mercury, yeah, full with mercury. Okay, and then this glass tube we inverted into the bowl, into a bowl uh, also filled with mercury. And then we, after we immerse it into the into the bowl of mercury, we release, uh, we remove the lid, uh, we remove the lid. <clears throat> and then we let it, let the mercury column fall until a certain height. Uh, and it will remain at a certain height after we remove the lid. Okay, we remove the lid and we let it, uh, let the mercury inside the glass tube fall uh, until a certain height. So, after a while, okay, that's the height, uh, show, show the sum height, and then we calculate the height from the surface of the mercury here, uh, where the atmospheric pressure exits. Uh, so, this height represents the atmospheric pressure, okay, this one. This uh, empty space is vacuum uh, after the mercury fall into a certain height uh, because of the atmospheric pressure. So this H, uh, this H present the atmospheric pressure. Uh, so we got the value for atmospheric pressure by using mercury equal to 760 millimeter mercury because we use mercury uh, to measure the atmospheric pressure. Okay, boleh ha? So the unit for atmospheric pressure is 760 millimeter mercury. This is the fixed, fixed value ah, fixed value. Memang ini dia punya nilai untuk atmospheric pressure. <coughs> okay, this one if you use mercury. Uh, in a previous lesson, uh, we, oh, you have learned that the atmospheric Pressure equal to 1.01, 1, uh, 101 uh, pascal, kilo pascal, times 10 power of 5 pascal, 1013, uh, tak ingatlah juga, kat belakang dia punya value tu, uh, tapi ini dia punya uh, nilai, uh, value for atmospheric pressure 1.01 times 10 power of 5 pascal or 101 kilo pascal. This one the unit of pascal. Now here how to get this uh, 101 kilo pascal is from actually it's from uh, seven, 760 millimeter mercury. Uh, we use this method first to measure the atmospheric pressure. Then we convert it into Pascal by using P equal to rho GH. Okay. Then we got 101 kilo Pascal. Okay. Dia punya uh, original, uh, dia punya origin is by using millimeter mercury. Uh, by using this mercury to measure the atmospheric pressure. And okay. then from this value, we convert it into Pascal by using equation rho gh. Uh, the density used is the density of mercury and I and our uh, gravitational acceleration of earth. Okay. <clears throat> and here the formula is used to obtain the value of atmospheric pressure in Pascal. Okay. So we get the density of mercury 1.36 times 10 power of 4 kilogram meter negative 3 meter cube. Okay, we apply in the uh, in the equation. Uh, uh, you see here uh, the high, the high or depth. That's why I uh, already mentioned you H equal to high or depth. Uh, H equal to high or depth. So that you're not confused. Uh, high or depth. 
So this one use high, uh, the high of the mercury column, 0 0.76 meter. Uh, this one is already, uh, already converted. Uh, it convert from millimeter to meter. Okay, millimeter to meter. So we have 0 0.76 meter mercury. Okay. Atmospheric pressure uh, just now from the uh, from the diagram we have 760 millimeter mercury uh, millimeters of mercury. Okay, if we convert to cm, we get 76 cm uh, cm mercury. If we convert into meter, we will have 0 0.76 meter. Mercury. Well, so that's why I always uh, ask you to uh, be careful with the prefix use. Uh, milli, centi, meter. So careful with the prefix uh, that used in the question or in the diagram. So tengok betul-betul unit yang dia guna tu macam mana. Hmm? So in this case, it convert to meter first. Uh. <coughs> okay, because we use density in meter. Ha, kena selaraskan lah bagi sama ok so atmospheric pressure uh, after you substitute the value into the equation then you get 101 uh, blah 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 pascal <laughs> so in standard form in standard form equal to 1.01 uh, we run off into two decimal places 1.01 times 10 power of 5 pascal. Okay, got 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 10 power of 5 pascal. If you want to use prefix, so, uh, biasa kita guna kilo pascal. So, 101 kilo pascal. Hmm, kilo is 1000. Uh, uh, times 1000. <coughs> Boleh, ha? Huh? So, tengok uh, standard form ke ataupun uh, prefix use ke. Huh? Jawapan mana-mana pun boleh. So, dalam standard form pun betul. Dalam uh, prefix pun betul. Huh? Accepted. Okay. The value of atmospheric pressure change with weather, change with altitude. Huh? Because of high. So, in addition, the thin air at high altitude causes the atmospheric pressure to be lower. <coughs> okay. Right, this one. The instrument used to measure uh, atmospheric pressure other than mercury barometer. So, we have another two. Okay. Another two type. Just now is mercury barometer. Okay, the second one is 14 barometer. 14 barometer also looks like a mercury barometer. Uh, cuma dia ni lebih, uh, lebih canggih lah. Uh, lebih canggih sikit. Uh, dia ada, dia punya scale. Vernier scale, millimeter scale. Okay, ada dia punya protective, uh, breast tube, glass tube. Okay, ni tengok gambar je. Okay, yang ni dia nak uh, you bezakan. Uh, make a comparison between 14 barometer and aneroid barometer. Okay, look at 14 barometer. <coughs> it measure atmospheric pressure <coughs> to a high degree of accuracy. Means that these instruments are more accurate. Uh, more accurate. Okay, it has a height of almost one meter. So it's uh, more accurate than what uh, can measure 1.0 uh, <coughs> plus minus 1.0. <coughs> 1.1, 1.2, 1 1.3, so until 0 0.1 accuracy. Uh, 0 0.1 accuracy. <coughs> okay, we usually use it <coughs> at meteorological centers. 
Okay, next, aneroid barometer. Okay, this one function mechanically. So, here, <coughs> aneroid barometer, it has a partially vacuum metal box or semi-vacuum. <coughs> semi-vacuum metal box or partially vacuum metal box. So, this, uh, this partially vacuum metal box will change. Uh, will change its volume depends on the atmospheric pressure at that place. Okay. Dia punya val, uh, volume. Uh, volume akan berubah. This volume of partial vacuum metal box will change according to the pressure exerted on it. Okay. This one is more flexible uh, because it can uh, be used in home, ship, aeroplane. And then uh, it gives a quick reading, a uh, direct reading of the atmospheric pressure. Okay, we look at the comparison. Okay, the differences between 14 barometer and aneroid bar uh, barometer, this one. Kalau soalan tanya, uh, maybe dalam uh, paper, paper 3, oh, paper 3 dah tak ada. Okay. <coughs> oh, paper 2 lah, uh, paper 2. Paper 2, section C. Uh, question number 9, 10. Yeah, the differences. Uh, choose which one is the best uh, instrument to measure atmospheric pressure. So maybe the soalan akan bagi uh, empat jenis uh, PQRS. Uh, PQRS and then state the characteristics. So you just uh, choose which one is the suitable, uh, the best choice. Okay, the one for paper two. <coughs> Choices. Ha, soalan untuk pilihan yang mana lagi bagus ok so here the differences between 14 barometer and aneroid barometer 14 uh, we measure the atmospheric pressure by refer to the high difference in high of the mercury column in aneroid uh, we measure the volume ok depends on the volume of the uh, semi vacuum metal box Okay, yang ni guna tinggi, high, this one use volume. Okay. <coughs> and the uh, size, compare with their size, 14 is larger and not portable. Aneroid, smaller size and portable or flexible. Uh, flexible, easy to carry. Yeah, this one for explanation. Uh. Smaller size, why? Light. Ringan. Uh, low mass ni untuk dalam paper tu portable easy to carry ni you kena bagi reason uh, you list down dia punya characteristic what you have chosen and uh, list down dia punya reason or explanation why you say that it is a smaller size uh, should be smaller size because it like uh, why it must be portable because it is easy to carry okay <coughs> 14 barometer takes a longer time to give reading. Okay, and the right direct reading, quick reading. Okay, and then high accuracy. 14 barometer have higher accuracy up to 0 0.1 millimeter mercury compared to an right barometer. Eh, have lower accuracy only, can measure 1. Uh, plus minus 1 millimeter mercury. 1, uh, continue by 2, 3. So, this one don't have a uh, decimal point. Uh, are not too accurate. Uh, not too accurate. One, two, three, like that also. Okay. Solving problem in daily life involving various unit of pressure. Okay. <clears throat> Until now, you, you know already two. Pascal. And then, millimeter mercury. Uh, two unit. Okay. Let's see here, there are four, four uh, unit of pressure. Okay, Pascal, yeah, already know that is the SI unit of pressure used in the whole world. Okay, we use it in the field of science okay, to measure atmospheric pressure. Okay, millimeter mercury. This one, uh, kita biasa guna for blood pressure, for blood pressure. Blood pressure. Normal blood pressure is 120 over 80. Uh, 
uh, systolic systolic and diastolic reading this one in blood pressure biasa kita guna dekat klinik lah in medicine in medical okay millimeter mercury is manometric unit ah uh, manometric unit of pressure other than pascal okay the third one is meter water meter h2o ah uh, meter water so this one also have in your in the question ah uh, meter h2o be based on the high high from the surface of water okay meter high from the surface of water h2o sea water uh, normal water <coughs> this one millimeter millimeters of mercury is based on high in mercury ya eh? okay tengok balik <coughs> Millimeters of mercury also high length. Nah, millimeter we use to measure length also, but this one for high in mercury. The difference in high in mercury column, millimeter mercury. So this one in barometer. Nah, we use in barometer. The instrument use in barometer. Uh, either mercury barometer, fourteen barometer, or aneroid barometer. Okay. Pascal ni, we can get it from uh, the instrument that we call Borden Gauge. Ah, Borden Gauge. Okay, Borden Gauge. <coughs> Ini, this instrument is uh, used to measure uh, gas pressure, okay, atmospheric pressure. We have a pointer. Uh, pointer. Okay, from zero, zero, yeah, okay. This is a Borden gauge. Okay, barometer, mercury. And then the third one is meter H2O. Uh, this one, water, uh, water. So from the surface of water. Okay, this is a metric unit uh, used to measure pressure of water in the sea, water reservoirs and dams. Okay, for example, water pressure in the Bakun Dam is 150 meter H2O. That's the punya high. <coughs> okay, we also have millibar. Uh, millibar. Millibar. It's a smaller metric unit used in a uh, field of meteorology equivalent to the unit hectopascal. <coughs> One millibar equal to uh, 1 hectopascal or 100 Pascal. Hecto is 100. Eh? New prefix. New prefix hecto. Hecto is 100. Equal to 1 hecto pascal. 1 millibar equal to 100 pascal or 1, uh, 1 hecto pascal. Okay, so example for our atmospheric pressure. Our atmospheric pressure is 100, 101 kilo pascal or 1.01 times 10 power of 5 pascal, right? So we, if we want to use a unit of millibar, so it will be 1013 millibar. Uh, milli equal to 100, 100 pascal. Millibar equal to 100 pascal. Okay. <coughs> Boleh faham tak ni? Okay. 100 pascal. Okay. Boleh eh? Sama lah. Sama eh? Kena ingat lah. Pening? <laughs> Kena nanti kamu baca balik. Haa. Ni you, kalau you tulis, you boleh baca balik. Kalau you tak tulis, you dengar je ni. Dah tak ingat dah ni. <coughs> Betul kena ada nota. Hmm. <coughs> tak ada yang peningnya. You cuma ingat 1 millibar. 1 millibar equal to 1 hectopascal. Hecto tu apa? Hecto is 100. Kilo is 1000. Kilo is 1000. Hecto is 100. So, 1 millibar equal to 100 pascal. Uh, 1 millibar equal to 100 pascal. Kita dah tahu uh, our 
uh, kita punya atmospheric pressure okay, 0 0.1 uh, 1.01 uh, times 10 power of 5 pascal ataupun 101 0.000 uh, pascal huh? 1.01 yang tadi yang saya tulis tadi <coughs> Ini ya kita punya uh, atmospheric pressure ataupun ini saya tukarkan uh, decimal ni letak zero so ini kita punya pascal <coughs> ataupun one one zero one yang real punya value yang lebih tepat. Okay kita, kalau nak tukar kepada milli bar uh, tukar kepada milli bar uh, the the fourth uh, unit of pressure so we just divide into 100 uh, because 1 millibar equal to 100 pascal or 1 hectopascal uh, 1 hectopascal or 100 pascal so berapa? divide by 3 uh, equal to <coughs> 101 3 millibar <coughs> M bar <coughs> one three. <coughs> okay, boleh. <coughs> Tadi saya dah bagi tahu yang dia punya value ha, dekat atas ni. Uh, one two three four five. One point zero one times ten power of five pascal. Yang 96 ni confirm dah tak ingat. 396.16 ni tak ada dah. Ha? Kita ambil je uh, yang dekat depan. Yang belakang ni kita dah uh, round off. So akan jadi 101 kilo pascal. Kalau guna prefix ataupun dalam standard form. Ataupun kalau you boleh ingat yang ini. Ha, kalau yang boleh ingat yang ini. 101396 pascal. Ha, boleh ingat ke tu? Ha, saya pun tak boleh ingat yang ni ni. Saya cuma ingat yang ini. 1.01 times 10 power of 5. Ha, power of 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1.01 times 10 power of 5 pascal. <coughs> Uh, or 101 kilo pascal. Kilo is a thousand. <coughs> wait, wait. Kilo, thousand, satu, dua, tiga, empat, ten ah, Ten, this one ten. Sorry, this one ten. Oh, this one ten. Ten point one kilo pascal. Kilo is thousand. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Ten point one. Ten point one. Kilo pascal So 100 millibar 1 millibar equal to 100 pascal Or 1 hecto pascal So you divide by 100 ha, Yang you tulis tadi 1013 101396 Divide by 100 Divide by 100 Okay kejap eh, saya nak padam Confuse. Okay, kita padam yang ni. Okay, guna yang sebelah sini. Okay, yang ini. Ah ni. Okay, kita guna yang ini. Ah uh, from the from the original value of Pascal one zero one three nine six Pascal. Okay, convert to millibar. Uh, convert to millibar, millibar equal to 100. So divide by 100. 
I divide by 100. Then we got 1,013 milli bar. Uh, 1,013 milli bar. Divide by 100. <coughs> because 1 milli bar equal to 1 hecto pascal. Uh, dia ambil daripada sini. 1 hecto pascal. So you need to know 1 milli bar equal to 1 hecto pascal. So our atmospheric pressure is 1013 millibar. Nah, kalau tukar kepada pascal, so times 100. Nah, then we got the original value of uh, atmospheric pressure in pascal. Okay, this one in millibar, divide by 100. In pascal times 100. Nah, dapat balik the actual value of atmospheric pressure. Matematik ni. Ha? Simple math. Nak tengok balik nanti. <coughs> okay, example one. Calculation. Okay, dah masuk calculation. Blood pressure reading of a patient is 160, 100. Ini dah uh, hypertension dah ni tinggi sangat. Uh, more than 120 over 80. Normal reading. So, ni dah, uh, dah uh, high blood pressure. Okay, what is the pressure? 160 millimeters of mercury in pascal. So you need to convert millimeter mercury in pascal. <coughs> so the other millimeter mercury is the high. High for millimeter. 160 millimeter is the difference in high of mercury barometer. Uh, we use in barometer, uh, millimeter mercury. So you just change into P equal to rho G H. Uh, dalam soalan ni. Dalam, uh, dia punya solution ni. So make sure millimeter convert to meter. Uh, convert millimeter to meter first. Millimeter convert to meter. So we have 0 0.16 times 1.63 is the uh, density of mercury lah. Uh, density of mercury because we use uh, mercury here. And then <coughs> gravity eh, 9.81. So we get the value in Pascal. Okay, boleh faham lah yang ni? Just follow the equation and make sure you convert the unit, convert the prefix. Millimeter to meter. <clears throat> okay. Example 2. The maximum pressure that a wall at the seaside can stand, can withstand uh, is 3.6. Okay, Pascal. What is this maximum pressure in meter water? Meter H2O. Okay, in meter H2O. So you need to find your punya high. Uh, find high, meter. High or depth from the surface of water. What is the maximum pressure in meter H2O? Okay, kita nak gantikan uh, M ni uh, berapa? Uh, dia punya pressure in meter H2O. So, find H. Find H from the value given in the question. Okay, use P equal to rho G H and find H. Find H. Cari H berapa? Ha, you are given P, you are given the density of H2O. Okay, density of H2O, density of water, 1000. Then gravity. Ha, substitute into the equation, then got the high is 36.7 meter. So from this value, you just uh, convert into the new unit. 36.7 meter H2O. Masuk je dalam unit. Ha, cuma yang penting you kena faham lah. Ha, nak tukar pascal kepada milli H2O, just find H only. Ha, because this one refer to the pressure. Ha, pressure of <coughs> water from the surface of water. I still remember the experiment in uh, pressure in liquid. We use diesel funnel, right? We use diesel funnel and we determine the D, the bigger D. Eh? We use diesel funnel. 
Ha, ni kena ingat ni ha, gambar rajah ni nanti nak lukis dalam exam. Artisal funnel. Okay and then we, we find the difference in D ya. Eh? Difference in D. Okay. Kita cari uh, wait. <coughs> dia punya beza. Okay. okay. So the difference in high refer to pressure. So high this D represent the pressure. So same goes to milli, uh, milli H2O, millimeter of mercury. Ni semua benda sama uh, based on high or depth. Uh, based on high, based on depth. Uh, just make sure this one high for water, this one for mercury. Okay. Nah, yang millibar tu dia nak convert je. And then Pascal yang memang kita gunalah uh, from the uh, equation rho GH. Hmm. Semua so based on high. That's why we when we do the experiment, we just determine the high, the difference in high uh, in of the uh, water. Difference of high in water column in experiment. We don't use a uh, Borden gauge. We don't use Uh, barometer. Sepatutnya pressure kita guna Borden gauge. Okay tapi untuk uh, liquid, untuk atmosfer atmospheric pressure kita guna difference in high only. Uh, difference in high. <coughs> okay now dah pukul sembilan eh. Dah habis lah ni. Okay sekejap. <coughs> Ada dua lagi effects ah sambo sikit. Uh, effects of atmospheric pressure at high altitude and extreme depth. Ha? Uh, extreme depth first atmospheric pressure at high altitude. Okay. At the top of mountain. There are thin of air. Uh, we have lack of oxygen so dia punya pressure is low. Uh, pressure is lowest at the top of mountain. Higher, higher, higher altitude, the pressure is lower. So it is inversely, uh, inversely proportional. Okay. <clears throat> uh, pressure is inversely proportional to the altitude. A uh, higher altitude, lower pressure because uh, the air particles are less. Uh, particle of air decrease at the top of mountain. So the percentage of oxygen also reduce or decrease. Okay, what is the effect on human being when you are when you go hiking? Okay, uh, you will have increase in the rate of breathing. Kadar pernafasan meningkat, uh, increase in the rate of breathing. Lower absorption of oxygen in the lungs. Okay, no oxygen because no oxygen, so lower absorption. Okay, and then increase in the metabolic rate make you loss of appetite, dehydrate and cannot think clearly. Uh, drunk. Boleh jadi drunk. Or faint. Uh, pengsan. Uh, mabuk. Uh, mabuk sebab terlalu tinggi. Uh, cannot think clearly because lack of oxygen. Okay. So what to do? Uh, action to be taken for mountain climbers. Okay. Must be prepared well. Uh. Prepare and train well. Okay, we use smartwatch to measure the altitude, the, your blood pressure and your body temperature. Okay, you must climb at a slow rate. A slow rate to allow the body to adjust uh, the change in pressure and drink a lot of water to prevent dehydration. Uh, dehydration. Okay, in aircraft. Okay, for aircraft, it change the pressure. Uh, pressure level in the aircraft, uh, in the aircraft cabin to be equal to the sea level pressure. Uh, they can change pressure. Higher, higher, higher. So, they can uh, uh, change the pressure inside the cabin according to the sea level pressure. Uh, our atmospheric pressure lah. Uh, one times 10 power of 5 pascal. Uh, they tak, kita tak boleh sama dengan uh, altitude pressure. Huh? Okay. And then uh, recycle the air in the cabin so that you can get enough oxygen 
and then uh, drink uh, drink a lot of water okay that's for higher altitude next pressure at extreme depth okay we we'll go diving extreme depth under the surface of the sea uh, water pressure increase with its depth okay water pressure increase with depth deeper 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 uh, deeper the pressure increase uh, pressure increase uh. means that uh, depth increase pressure increase this one uh, directly proportional okay increase in depth of 10 meter uh, cause an increase in water pressure by one uh, what atmosphere uh, what atmosphere what atmosphere equal to one times uh, 10 power of 5 pascal yang tadilah uh, 1.01 times 10 kita punya uh, atmospheric pressure this is one atmosphere uh, dia panggil one atmosphere so when you are in, uh, under the seabed so you will experience both water pressure and atmospheric pressure what effects to human to the diverse body tissue will absorb excess nitrogen gas this nitrogen gas uh, come from the uh, oxygen tank that you bring eh, that you use while you are diving so when uh, you inhale the gas the, the oxygen tank from the oxygen tank it also provide the nitrogen gas so when you are go deeper, 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 the nitrogen gas dissolves into the blood and will uh, form nitrogen bubbles in your body. If you move uh, too rapidly, uh, bila you dive cepat sangat, you bergerak cepat sangat, deeper, uh, it will increase formation of nitrogen bubbles. Uh, these nitrogen bubbles make you uh, cannot think clearly. Lah. Uh, they macam uh, toxic lah. Uh, they can produce toxic dalam badan. Okay. So that's why when you go diving, uh, when you come into the surface, uh, you must dive slowly. Uh, either go down or ascend. Uh, ascend to sea level. Nak naik pun kena slow, nak turun pun kena slow uh, to prevent the formation of nitrogen bubbles uh, because you use uh, oxygen tank. Okay, also submarine. Same goes to, uh, same with the airplane also. Okay, change the pressure in cabin. Control the pressure in the cabin. Same as uh, sea level. Uh, same as sea level. One atmosphere also. Okay, and it has uh, oxygen tank or electrolytic oxygen generator to produce oxygen. Okay. <coughs> uh, yang ni tak ada. Yang ni saya cari... Uh, yang apa nitrogen narcosis ni condition for deep sea divers sebab saya cari uh, mana dapat nitrogen gas ni ha, saya pun fikir juga ha, where the nitrogen nitrogen gas ni come from so actually from the oxygen tank ha, from the oxygen tank ok, ni boleh google sendiri ya. kalau uh, ada uh, term yang pelik ha. <laughs> <clears throat> so this one uh, nitrogen narcosis ni is the one effect of the divers when we go uh, diving uh, in extreme depth ok kita stop dekat sini nanti buat yang uh, saya bagi 2.2 ok kan uh, sebelas orang je hmm Eh, 12 termasuk Carol, Wong Carol. Right, Wong Kerry. So, 12. Okay, boleh dismiss sekarang? Okay. Sorry, ya. Eh? Okay, Cikgu. Okay. Um. <coughs> ada orang ada kelas apa? Masih ada kelas ni sebelum rehat ni. <coughs> Dua belas, dua belas, tendensi.